Hey guys, Antrim here, and welcome back to another Minecraft Redstone Contraption of Destruction. And uh, as you guys know, from time to time, I like making devices that otherwise cause some sort of destruction, or are otherwise just sort of a spectacle to see, and that is one of the devices that we have here in front of us today. So today what I wanted to do is I wanted to answer the age-old question that has only existed for the past 10 seconds or so, and that is, how big of a cannon can you make? in vanilla Minecraft because everything that you guys see in front of you here is actually possible within vanilla Minecraft even though it is a little unrealistic to expect to be able to fill each and every one of these 333 dispensers up with TNT but it is possible and that was the question that I wanted to ask so anyways uh yeah let me just go ahead and let me give you guys an overview of the machine itself here and then we will test it out because uh, there's some funny little quirks that this machine has that cause it to actually bug out because there's too much TNT going on here but anyways so the whole concept for this machine is the idea of vertical redstone uh, for those of you who are unaware of what vertical redstone is essentially let's go ahead and let's actually fire the machine off once here let me go ahead and let me get a lever here and uh, let's go ahead and let's do that lever and then we'll go ahead and we'll place it right uh, let's see right here is where I want to place it and we're gonna wind up firing the machine off just once so you can see look at all that beautiful TNT <coughs> BAM yeah so actually, even though it does sound like the TNT is firing at different times, it does actually all fire at once. So anyways, the way that this actually works, it's off on the side because of lag reasons, but the way that it works is that a redstone, whenever placed on a zigzag upwards with glowstone like this, the, the redstone will actually travel upwards. So uh, as you can see here, bam, 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 bam. It's not traveling downwards to get to the point that it's at. It's traveling upwards. So uh, you can put repeaters off of the end of those and it will work and uh, yeah you can see it's pretty awesome so essentially what I do is uh, in order to get this whole machine to work is I delay the redstone in such a way that will cause all of them to fire at the same time so you can see here this repeater has a delay of four and we go all the way up here and this one has a delay of four but as soon as I have to extend the connection because the redstone signal is too weak I make this one be a delay of three and then we repeat the process as we go up the tower here so again this one has a delay of three but then there's a repeater here so I need every other one to be a delay of two and uh, that again continues again delay of two but then one extra so this one only has one and then as we, as we go even further up the tower when the last repeater is set there's actually no repeaters here which is why I have to have only single rows of uh, you know of dispensers at the end here because side ones won't actually fire and if I place dispensers in these gaps they won't fire as well even with repeaters so yeah it took a little bit of experimentation to figure out what the exact amount I could use was I do think that you could probably find a way like if you did double repeaters or something in these areas to uh, make this tower a little bit taller however uh, the TNT can only fall so far before it explodes in midair and this gets pretty close to that point so I I feel like this is an elegant solution for this device the way that I have it set up without having to create too too many repeaters but I do feel like saying that the obsidian is not necessary for this device and actually the glowstone isn't either uh, if you use top slabs on uh, half slabs you can make this device just as well so you don't need to gather up a crap ton of obsidian and a crap ton of uh, you know glowstone if you want to make this in vanilla just a crap load of redstone dispensers TNT and repeaters uh, which are a little bit easier to obtain uh, so anyways, I feel like I have explained the device enough already. How about we go ahead and we test this sucker? So earlier in the video, you guys probably noticed that this little bit right here is disconnected. And that's disconnected because sometimes uh, the machine itself will actually bug out and it won't launch me as high as it can launch me. So let's go ahead and let's launch this machine with two-thirds of its power. That's 222 pieces of TNT. If you stand right about here and you press the button, you'll see the TNT will come down. We'll go ahead and we'll look forward. Look at the Y-axis. Uh, so we go from three and it just starts going up and up and up and up and up and up and up. And we do reach the 3.3 almost 3.4 kilometer mark with the TNT explosion. So again, this is an explosion possible in vanilla Minecraft. So anyways, because it's going to take us a while to fall, let's go ahead and let's kill ourselves here. But something that does happen, and who knows, it may not happen now that I'm demonstrating it. What happens when I use 333 pieces of TNT is sometimes the game lags and it will shoot me up to about 700 blocks and then just 
stick me right there and then I'll start falling. So it's kind of weird, but when it does work, it's a spectacle because you go over four kilometers up. So let's go ahead and let's see what's going to happen. See, about 700 blocks and then it stops for whatever reason. So that's kind of weird, but it doesn't do that every time. Uh, I'm not sure if it has to do with where I'm standing, you know, how exactly I'm looking at the screen here, but sometimes... Let's go ahead and let's see. Nope, see about 780 blocks. Sometimes what it will do is it won't lag me quite enough and it will actually launch me. So let's go ahead and let's see here. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on, launch me. You know you want to. Okay, that time I went to 600 blocks. But yeah, so it's a fun machine to mess with nonetheless, and it does actually stretch the limits of what a machine like this can do. So let's go ahead and let's actually break this piece of redstone right here so that not all of the machine will fire now. So you can see like we got this bit right here that will fire on the side, but not the rest of it will. So let's go ahead and let's see what's going on with that. Let's see if that'll work. Let's see if we can push the limits of what we're going to be able to do today. So let's see. Bam. So you know that the machine worked properly when that number just continues to go up and up and up and up and up and up and it doesn't like freeze in any specific point. So this time we went 3,500 blocks into the air. So let's go ahead and let's stretch that limit just a little bit more. So the way that we're going to do that is we're going to, oh, we're going to reactivate this redstone and then we're going to delete the next one on the repeater line. So where this repeater is right here, we'll delete that one and we shall see how far far this will launch us now let's see if we can hit the 4000 limit what do you guys think can we hit four kilometers into the air with a vanilla minecraft cannon well in this case we are going to go higher at least i think unless i wasn't standing in the right spot that's 3700 so that is very clearly higher than the 3500 ish from before so i guess we're just gonna you know up the ante one more time and hope that we can actually launch ourselves you know really high up so let's see so let's go ahead and let's destroy let's destroy this one right here so we're going to go too higher, and we're going to see if we can make this work. And uh, by the way, guys, this map will be available for download, uh, unlike the last one, because this one I feel like has val value being uh, downloadable. So, okay, so this time it didn't work. Let's give this one more try, uh, and then I will uh, down the ante by a little bit. Ha, <laughs> ant, ante, ant. Do, do, you, do you get it? I, th I, th I think you guys get it. But yeah, so okay, so it actually appears like that many pieces of TNT is still a little bit much. So let's go ahead and let's destroy that one and let's replace this one and we shall see how it will work. And uh, yeah. So anyways, do you guys have any comments about this device? Do you guys have any comments about random redstone things that you wind up, you guys wind up making? See, again, it still seems like I'm hitting that limit here. It's really weird. I only have ender pearls because I was screwing around earlier with uh, getting ender pearls to launch, but I never found any of the ones that launched. But I'll show you guys that here at the end of the video. But yeah, okay, so again, again, it seems like that's a little bit much. So what we're going to do is we are going to replace this bit of redstone at this point here. And I guess that's kind of where the lag maximum for the machine is going to be. Uh, let's see here. Okay, so I just replaced that. That's right. So I need to remove the next one down, which is this one. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's mess around here with this a little bit. So if I go into game mode zero here and what I do is I stand here, I press the button, wait a moment, and then I throw the ender pearl up. Uh, the ender pearl will get launched, but funny enough, I will not be able to find this thing. So let's do it. Okay, I don't know if that was on time or not, but we will tell if I teleport or not. Okay, nope. Ow. Well, that time I got launched with... Whoa, dude. Look at that. I, that was not planned or what, I, I landed in the water and then got immediately teleported and I went over four kilometers. Oh, Minecraft, how you can be really entertaining sometimes. So not even with full power, we went four kilometers. So really, maybe if I just stand here or here or something, like maybe this will help. I don't know, man. I don't know. Let's just hold this. Okay. No, holding the space bar causes the, uh, causes, uh inconsistencies there but anyways let's go and let's do that oh, oh okay uh that might actually be way too late i don't know uh bam yeah okay that was a bit late i'm surprised i'm not dying i'm not wearing any armor at all ow ow let's get out of the way ow probably dead no okay i'm not all right let's go and let's try that one more time here i really just want to launch the ender pearl okay i think that might have been too soon this time actually yeah yeah so i oh well <laughs> All right, let's launch one ender pearl before we go ahead and we end off this video here. Let's see here. So let's go ahead and let's make it daytime so that we can actually see the ender pearl. Okay, nope, that's still too soon, I think. I, I, I always launch it too soon for some stupid reason. But, oh my god, look at the distance. Okay, we're going four kilometers again. Yep, not quite as far as last time, but that's still four kilometers. That's funny. Okay, so I was going to go about 4,500. Okay, so let's see here. Bang. 
Okay, uh, that might be okay, but I still think it might have been too soon of a throw. Yeah, it was too soon of a throw. Dang it. Dang it. Okay, I really need... I, guys, I need to get better. Okay, that one might have been right on time. Okay, let's see. Where is that going to go? Well, then it... Oh! What the heck? You guys see that? Like, the Ender Pearl like, landed in a weird way? Or did it actually launch? I don't know, man, but I saw the particles. Okay, that was entirely too soon. Crap. But wait, that might launch me if it lands right. <laughs> oh, God, yeah, it is. Yeah, that is way too fun of a way to do this as well. But, all right, anyways, let's go ahead. I really just want to see it launch for reals. Okay, I think that was perfect. Fine. What? Oh, come on. <laughs> How embarrassing is that? Bang. Okay, I think that again was perfect. I Did I, like, land on a piece of TNT? That was perfect. So that probably launched like a couple of miles in that direction. I could fly off in that direction for like a while, but because of just how intense this cannon is, it could have gone way that way or way that way. Something tells me it went off in this direction, but I don't think we will ever know, guys. L look at that beauty off in the distance. So anyways, guys, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to end off this video now. So I think the age-old question in Minecraft has been answered. How big can you make a cannon in vanilla Minecraft? And I guess the answer in this case is one that is large enough to launch you almost five kilometers, but beyond that, you start to hit a big of, bit of a lag point. So, yeah. Yeah. So anyways, guys, I hope you all have enjoyed. My name is Ant Venom, and I bid you all farewell. Thanks so much for watching.